Welcome to Take Your Best Shot, the region's first online TV game show that tests our competitors and audiences' knowledge of COVID-19 and immunization. Once again, we're in St. Lucia for the second preliminary leg of Take Your Best Shot. It's brought to you by the Caribbean Public Health Agency, CAFA, with funding from the U.S. Agency for International Development and UNICEF. I am your host, Sarala Ram Logan, and I'm coming to you from here in our studios in Trinidad and Tobago. St. Lucia, are you ready to take your best shot? Now, in the first preliminaries held in Guyana, four schools took up the challenge and took their best shot. Brickdam Secondary, Mackenzie High School, Tagore Memorial, and West Demerara Secondary. Today, in our St. Lucia preliminary, Beanfield Comprehensive will meet View Fort Comprehensive to decide which school will move on to the semi-final round, after which you'll be taking on Guyana. So from Beanfield Comprehensive, let's welcome our students. We have Mikiej Suraj, Dejane Dashville, and Okima Smith. Well, Okima is their team lead and point person. And from Viewfort Comprehensive, we welcome Vladel Mark, Janai Desu, and Amara Felician. Janai will be team lead and point person for Viewfort. And of course, welcome to you, our audience. It is time to take your best shot. Are you ready to take your best shot? So alphabetically, we begin this round of the competition with, well, B, Beanfield Comprehensive. Students, remember, you have 15 seconds to deliberate and then answer the question. But you may answer before the clock runs out, you know, if you think you have the answer. So question one for one point. Beanfield, this is for you. Which of the following COVID-19 variants has not been reported in the Caribbean region? Is it A, Gamma, B, Beta, C, Delta, or D, Omicron? Listen up, I'll repeat. Which of the following COVID-19 variants has not been reported in the Caribbean region? Again, your options, A, Gamma, B, Beta, C, Delta, or D, Omicron. There are 15 seconds to answer. We'll go with the answer A, Gamma. A, Gamma is absolutely correct. Well done. One point to you. What a way to open the show. Well done, team. View Fort, are you ready? Your first question asks, how many lives are saved worldwide from childhood vaccines alone per year? Is it A, 500,000, B, 1 million, or C, 4 million? Here's that question again. How many lives are saved worldwide from childhood vaccines alone per year? Your options, A, 500,000, B, 1 million, or C, 4 million. You have 15 seconds to answer. C, 4 million. That was quick. C, 4 million is absolutely correct. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, every year, 4 million lives are saved worldwide from childhood vaccines alone. Well done. All right, back to you, Beanfield. Let's go. What was the 2022 global target for COVID-19 vaccination set by the World Health Organization? Is it A, 40% vaccination coverage? B, 50% vaccination coverage, or C, 70% vaccination coverage. Again, your question, what was the 2022 global target for COVID-19 vaccination set by the World Health Organization? Your options, A, 40% vaccination coverage, B, 50% vaccination coverage, or C, 70% vaccination coverage. 15 seconds to go. We'll go with the answer 70 percent 
70%. Well, indeed, you went with the correct answer. Well done. One point awarded to your team. So, Viewfort, let's head back to you. We want to know what happens when our immune system's defense is partially successful. Is it A, you will become severely ill, B, mild or no symptoms, but can still spread the disease to others, or C, high chance of disease transmission to others? So I'll repeat it. The question asks, what happens when our immune system's defense is partially successful? Is it A, you will become severely ill, B, mild or no symptoms, but you can still spread the disease to others, or C, high chance of disease transmission to others? 15 seconds to deliberate. B, mild or no symptoms, I can be transmitted. Yes, indeed, that is the correct answer well done one point awarded to your team so beansfield back to you your question what is a characteristic of innate immunity is it a a slow responding immune mechanism b first immune response to a pathogen or c immunity that has memory you can listen up i'll repeat what is a characteristic of innate immunity is it A, a slow responding immune mechanism? B, first immune response to a pathogen? Or C, immunity that has memory? You could go ahead and deliberate 15 seconds on the clock. We'll go with the answer C, immunity that has memory. Repeat that answer. We'll go with the answer C, immunity that has memory. Immunity that has memory on Unfortunately, that is not the correct answer. The correct answer is B. All right. So first immune response to a pathogen is the correct answer. That option was B. We move on to our next team. The final question before the break, and we'll head back to Viewfort for this one. Viewfort, having had measles as a baby, you will more than likely not be infected with measles again. Is this an example of A, innate immunity, B, immunological memory, or C, adaptive immunity? Once again, your question, having had measles as a baby, you will more than likely not be infected with measles again. This is an example of your options A, innate immunity, B, immunological memory, or C, adaptive immunity. 15 seconds to your answer. C, adaptive um, immunity. C, adaptive immunity. These answers are coming so quickly. These teams are not even taking five seconds to come up with their answer. Well done, teams. So that brings us to the end of round one. Uh, just to give you a little update of the scores, we have you fought with three points and Beansfield with Two, that's where we are at right now. Of course, these teams are doing so well going head to head. Right now, let's take a moment to get to know the teams just a little bit better. Now, first of all, our competitors taking part in this show, Take Your Best Shot, are third and fourth formers and are between the ages of 13 and 15 years old. Hey, so another fun fact, both schools competing today are located in the same town. That's Viewfort which is about 40 miles outside of St. Lucia's capital, Castries. All right, so team, tell us, has preparing for this show inspired any of you to pursue careers in medicine, by the way? Yes, the gentleman said. Okay, excellent. Well, at least uh, someone in the room, and maybe as you continue and you get to learn more, you get more engaged in our show, maybe you will consider that career in medicine. Who knows? So, you know, how does this competition compare to high stakes of like chess, or running or in fact was this competition like intense in its preparation or you thought it was more easy going easy going it was easy going all right all right so glad to hear that thank you so much teams it's such a pleasure getting to know you all a little bit better and now some fun facts about taking your best shot the show all best shot participants will receive a certificate of participation from our executive producers usaid unicef and CAFA. We would also like to thank the Ministries of Education and Health in both Guyana and in St. Lucia for their support and their assistance in this very exciting and significant pilot project. Now quickly, let's go through the basic rules. 
Each correct answer earns the responding team one point. Only one member from each team is designated to answer questions. Students have 15 seconds to deliberate before delivering their answer. Well, at halftime, what we do is we reverse the answering order of the teams. This means that the team who answered first in round one will become the second team to respond in round two. In each studio location, a representative from the Ministry of Education will be present to invigilate and ensure that teams comply with competition rules. Additionally, this series is entirely pre-recorded and edited under the strictest confidence. So students only see competitions the same time as you or audiences sees it. This allows us to repeat some of the same questions in different episodes of the competition. We invite you to join us at Carpa's YouTube channel, that's at Carpa Campus, where you too can join in the fun and give it your best shot. It's time now for Western 1, round 2. We begin now with Viewfort. Viewfort, we want you to state three of the most common side effects of the COVID-19 vaccines. Again. State the three of the most common side effects of the COVID-19 vaccines. 15 seconds to come up with your answer. All right, time is up. Dry cough, fever, and a mild sickness. All right, so we will ask uh, some of our experts logged on from CAFA right now to behind the scenes give us an idea of whether that answer is correct or not. Students, that is the incorrect answer. The correct answer is fever or high temperature, um, also tiredness or fatigue, and pain or soreness at the injection site. Thank you very much for weighing in there and giving us the correct answer. I am sorry that is one point gone, Viewford. But uh, let's see how it goes. We are on to the next question. Uh, Beanfield, this one is for you. Listen up carefully. A pathogen is an organism that causes disease. Name four common types of pathogens. Again, a pathogen is an organism that causes disease. Name four common types of pathogens. 15 seconds on the clock. Our answer will be bacteria, parasite, fungi, and We don't have a fourth one, sorry. Ah, oh, without a fourth one. Again, I got to go to the experts for this one. We weigh in here. Unfortunately, the, we did get three of the correct answer, but the question asked for four. So the correct answers would be viruses, bacteria, fungi, or parasites, or and parasites. So those are the four. All right, I am sorry, team. That's okay. Let's continue with the competition. The questions are still coming. Beaufort, we have one for you. Your final question. So the region of the Americas was first to eradicate, is it A, polio, B, Spanish flu, C, smallpox, or D, measles? Listen up again. The region of the Americas was the first to eradicate option A, polio, B, Spanish flu, C, smallpox, or D, measles. C, measles. C, measles is incorrect. The correct answer is A, polio. Today's last question goes to Beanfield. Beanfield, you ready? Vaccination is one of the most successful public health interventions because is it A, 
It prevents severe illness and death. B. It will eradicate all diseases. C. It stops transmission of disease. Your question again. Vaccination is one of the most successful public health interventions because is it option A, it prevents severe illness and death from vaccine preventable diseases, B, it will eradicate all diseases, or C, it stops transmission of disease. Time must start now. What is the answer A? It prevents sickness and death. Final answer? I guess we'll take that chance. All right. Well, that sounds good choice. Congratulations. <laughs> Indeed, that is the correct answer. Well done, team. What a show thus far. If we look at our scoreboard, we are deadlocked. It is a tie, which means we need to get to our tie breaker. Beanfield viewports, I'll let you know how this is going to work. I'm going to ask the question. The first team to raise their hand to initiate response will be the team allowed to answer the question. If you answer correctly, this round is yours. If not, your competitors now have a chance to answer. And if your competitors answer correctly, will they get the point? All right, so I trust that we are clear. I want you to listen up very carefully. St. Lucia. This preliminary or tiebreaker. Today we ask, what is a pathogen? And Beanfield seems to be the one with their hands up. So Beanfield. A pathogen mm -hmm. is an organism that causes a disease in a host, for example, an animal or a human. Well, indeed, that is correct. Congratulations to you with that or tiebreaker. That means today's winner is indeed Bean Field Comprehensive. Well done. Your team now advances to the next round of competition for a chance to represent St. Lucia at the semi final round. All the very best to you, Bean Field. We say thank you to both teams before you were fantastic as well. Thank you for helping us kick off the St. Lucia round of Take Your Best Shot. We want to say thank you to all our partners as well as St. Lucia's Ministries of Education and of Health and Great Vision Design Studios of St. Lucia for your production support. Thank you. You've been watching Take Your Best Shot brought to you by Papa with funding from the USAID and UNICEF. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Take your best shot.